rain because there is a chance of some heavy downpours in the forecast today, especially so across East Anglia and South East England. Now, there's also some showers in the forecast. Some of those will be heavy and thundery. So if we take a look at the whole of the UK at 9 o'clock running through to the afternoon, you can see where we've got some rain in a curl coming in across parts of England and down towards the south coast. Now, in the centre of that, there's a lot of cloud. It will brighten up for a bit, but it is going to be raining quite a bit too. Out towards the west, we've got some showers and also in the north. But in between those showers, we could see some sunshine. But even some of those showers are likely to be heavy and possibly thundery too. So four o'clock this afternoon in Scotland, it's that mix, sunshine and showers. And again, some of the showers will be thundery, but not all of them. As we come into northwest England, similar scenario, sunshine and showers. But northeast England, heading down across the Pennine, into East Anglia, the southeast, the Midlands, down towards the south coast. That's where we've got the rain. And we could see some large rainfall totals, particularly in Norfolk and Suffolk, in a small amount of time. So there may well be some surface water issues. As we drift further west in the direction of southwest England and also Wales, you can see that again we're looking at that mixture of sunshine and showers. Some of those are likely to be heavy and thundery, more especially across Wales. And then as we sweep across the Irish Sea into Northern Ireland, we're looking at again that mixture of bright spells, sunshine and also some showers. As we head on through the course of the evening, we still will have some of that rain sweeping in across parts of northern England, through the Midlands, down towards Dorset, for example, heading over towards Somerset as well. Temperature-wise, we're looking at 10 to about 13 Celsius. Those are indicative of towns and cities. In rural areas in the north, it will feel quite chilly. So that's how we start the day tomorrow, with that arm of rain, that big curl. And if anything, it's going to pull back towards the southeast. Again, there's a chance of some torrential downpours, particularly across East Anglia and the southeast. Again, leading to the risk of some issues with surface water flooding. But move towards the west and the north, we're into brighter skies with some sunshine and fewer showers. Then for Thursday, we've got the dregs of that rain across the southeast. That will eventually clear away. And for most of us, we're looking at a dry day. Make the most of it, because if you look up towards the northwest of Scotland, there's something else just waiting in the wings. So, Lou and Dan, for the next couple of days, particularly if you're in East Anglia or the southeast, make sure you have a sturdy brolly to hand, because you're going to need it. Oh, OK, Carol, thank you very much. Sturdy brollies at the ready. Thank you. I'm going to put the normal brolly away and get the sturdy brolly <laughs> exactly. out.